hard in the game, I know we run. Work too hard, there's no refunds. Y'all go. If you want a hundred, we can arrange it. No refunds, always changes. I was gonna come and hang out that night, but it's no refunds, and you paid that price. Watch the whole season, there's no refunds. The devil out here buying souls, nigga, no refunds. What's going on, people? I am Team Tommy. No I'm more, Boy Too Nice. No more AKAs. That is Boy Too Nice. We are the No Refunds you Podcast. Know. You can find us on Apple Podcasts, SoundCloud, Spotify, Google Play. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash Boy Too Nice TV to be entered into our giveaways. Leave a thumbs up on the video and also drop a comment. Drop a comment saying done. I almost got through that so smoothly. <laughs> I had okay. I had so much energy going through it. You was feeling it. We yeah, I, we, I, I was. Uh, <laughs> you know, you know where that spirit came from. Teleport. Soul Ja. No. You was feeling that. It wasn't. No. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't know how long it took you to come up with that, but go back. What happened? Go back to the shop. No. I don't know how long it took you to come up with that, was, but you yeah, it. recycle it. It was in your soul. Throw it away. On today's show, talking about obviously Big Draco. Mm. We got a little segment on Ella May because she, she done did some things. And ASAP Rocky says he's a bad bitch. Uh, but to start this week off, as we always do, sir, have you done anything special that we should know about this week? Nah. What is it, the third week of the new year? Yes, 20th. Um, 20th. We're recording, we're recording well, on the 20th. First of all, because um, when people hear this, man, how about them championship games? The I NFC, so. the NFC so game, the AFC got, game, man, the sh- them, 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 them Saints and so yeah, we're, them we're Saints and uh, Rams. On Sunday, this is before they're playing, so we don't no, know not. who the winner is. There. This is Monday, dog. We, we live. Yeah, we live. Them, right. them, them Saints, and, them Saints and Rams. Woo! That was a great game, wasn't it? Yeah. And them, them Chiefs and Patriots. Hey, who won again? Woo! Hey, who won this, again? It's a really good game. Uh, what, what was for? <laughs> 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 yeah, we record before, like as the, the games are going on right now. Yeah, so we don't but know the winner is yet. So you know what I'm saying. We we pretty we'll sure it's going to be the, good games. We'll get to that shit next week. Good luck, Andy Reid and and Drew Brees. Those are the two teams I root for: Kansas City and uh and New Orleans because New Orleans beat Mahomes. Mah- Mah- Pat. Yeah. Yeah. Where my home is. Okay. <laughs> is that is that is that a thing? Yeah. Is that what they say? Pat Mahomes is. Please don't. Well, Jalen Jalen uh, Rose says it. I don't think he's he probably should. like the only person that does. He shouldn't say it either. No, nah, this, this is dope. He needs to stop. No, I, it's I, not. You gotta you gotta ride for Jalen, or you gotta ride for Jalen. Uh, I don't gotta ride for Jalen Mahomes. Jalen Mahomes. I don't even remember that nigga first name. Pat. Pat. Pat Mahomes. <laughs> okay, we're gonna yeah, let's let's not do that. Instagram not. took down my videos, man, from two years ago. Because stop, stop, <laughs> stop posting vulgar videos. You I didn't post shit. any vulgar videos. It Probably wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't no shit. dick videos or nothing this time around. It was just me posting. I had my top five Tuesdays back back in the day. Back, back in the day. I'm the king of talking shit, but that was back in the day. Um, I had videos of me. My top five Tuesdays were lists of music musicians. Videos. Yeah. And their music videos. Why you have me open the door? It's cold as shit out here. Wasn't huh? it on a story? No, it was. It was they were oh. like full blown videos, and most of it was um. It was all copyrighted shit. It was all no, not mo- not most of that. All of it was copyrighted. Uh, most of the video was the song itself. It was like, I think it was like thirty seconds of me talking and thirty se- thirty seconds of the songs playing. Okay. So yeah, Instagram like, decided, like oh, 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 we see, we see what you're doing here. Nah, you can't do that. So we are gonna take so, your yeah. shit down. I guess ever ever since they made it um, an option where you can make money directly from Instagram, they have to be on top of that copyright. Shit. I don't have any followers. I ain't making no money off of that shit. Right, but eh, you know it is what it is. That's the way YouTube was on like years ago. Like my most popular video, like back in like 2008. But I should be good, right? I told him. I told, I told him I ain't own no rights to the video, or I ain't own no, no rights to the music. So I, I should be good, right? No. Okay. I'm well, only on Facebook. Facebook do be posting some like you can post whatever the fuck you want but on you know, Facebook. Oh, apparently not. I posted a video today and they tried to take that shit down. The um them 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 dudes yeah. that's making that video like them them videos about how how the songs don't match the uh, the videos and shit. They I got full blown music videos dedicated to other people's music. I, I think do they have in the caption like I don't own the rights to this. I don't know. I don't I even think, think they do. I think that's the only way to get around it. I'm not 100 percent sure because. I just encountered that problem today, but fuck it. Who cares? Fuck the it. videos is dope too, but I mean the first the first video that they came out. You didn't never heard of them. All right, I'll I'll show you later. Um, 
But they came out with one, and that one took off, and then they came out with a second one, and they probably did a third one. My thing with that is, like, once you hit the first one, like, it's over. Don't don't try to recreate what you already done, but... That's what they do. Like, oh, this shit works, huh? Uh, y'all like this, huh? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna do it again. Do another one. That's how, um, that's how it was with, uh... Everybody. With, uh that's, well, that's yeah. like, it's like once you, once well, you yes, go that's viral, like, it's like with everybody. Once you go um, viral, oh, I gotta do this shit again. Like. That's like uh, what I was. The the main person that comes to mind with that is like super hot. The I'm not a rapper. Oh yeah, dude. yeah, yeah. He did like, like five. Yeah, and I didn't expect it to go past the first one. No, nah. I mean the other ones was funny. It was cool. Some of them were. The, yeah, them, the other ones was funny still, but he, after he that did first one, he did one, one with Soldier Boy. <laughs> he did one with Soldier Boy. That was. Speaking of Big Draco, hey, big soldier Draco. So a couple, a couple weeks bumped ago, in. or why we was he from wow. Chicago? Bumped in. ain't from uh, Atlanta. All in one. I saw that's how lit. It's a talented young that's man. That's how right lit there. Big Soldier is, that bro. Man, that man gets around. That nigga's down from Rep everywhere. Rep. Yeah, <laughs> round and round. You. Um. <laughs> so you remember that shit? Yeah, yes, I do. Uh, big Draco, aka Soldier Boy. A.K.A. Soldier Boy, tell him. AKA, Went on the Breakfast AKA Club. A.K.A. Our Lord and Savior. Nah, he ain't my Lord and Savior. Uh, he was thou on the Breakfast not, Club. Thou shalt not disrespecteth Soldier. He was on the Breakfast Club this week uh, during the interview. I'm still not sure why he was up there. He was promoting his new game console, I think. That console been out for, okay. A week? <laughs> it came out at least in December. No, so I, oh, I, I don't know. I saw a video on it on in December and. It was him. I think I saw it. like an article saying that oh, Soldier Boy is is coming out with one, and then in January it actually came out because he was talking about first week sales, and it was like only the first week of it, so it definitely came out in January. So this is why people love the Breakfast Club because they get the interviews that nobody else gets. Soldier Boy, so okay, Soldier Boy went on the Breakfast Club, talked about everything, everything, and him being Big Draco. Him being the people father, God. copying his flow, the Godfather. People stealing his Bars. way to fame, essentially. Uh, him being on social media, him, him being one of the first on. ones on social media, uh -huh. him putting people on, all that, blah blah blah, yada shit. yada. But honestly, it's it's funny because you can honestly, there's a lot of validity in all the shit that you're saying. A there's, lot of it. There's some validity. I'll give about 85 percent validity. I'll, I'll give him 20 percent. <laughs> so, what, what did he say he that was, was false? Talk, he was talking a bunch of bullshit. Right, but what, what did he say that was false though? Because he, he proved a lot of shit. He put he put a lot of receipts. So which one was like one, I'm not rocking with that? For one, he said Drake stole. Well, one, he said he said uh, Drake stole this flow on. I mean, Drake stole it from Draco. Tell I'm me not, I'm not, what's really going on. He did. Drake, 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 I'm back again. He word took, for word, and then he said Drake stole his whole flow from Soldier Boy. That's one thing that's that's false. Okay, he stole but, one okay. one line, in, or he in, took um, one line from in, Soldier in Boy. In Big Draco Soldier's defense, stop calling that nigga. <laughs> Drake switches his flow up a lot, Correct. so at one point he was that, using the, that flow. There was never a there was never a Soldier Boy flow though. No, but that that song, uh, what's the name of that song? Mm. Forever, I think it was called Forever. Sure. Uh, anyway, so anyway, that song that Drake was doing, the way he was rapping, all the boy shit. Because there's another song. It's just that one part that I just played for you, and it was uh, Drake doing some shit from Soldier Boy again. So he didn't mention a that, little so bit of validity. And then he, he talked time. about him having time. what 1.2 million dollars in sales. Okay, that's bullshit. for his console. All right. Okay, I'll give you that. That, that was bullshit. <laughs> that was bullshit. Because he changed the number every time he said it. Yeah, and I, also, I just said 1.2 million. And nigga, also, I sold 200,000. Nigga, 400. What? I sold 300. What? And if you going, what, he Chill, even said bro. it in the interview. Like, he don't have that many consoles to sell. Right. So, so for him okay, to put so what he said there, was, like, insane. he said he only had 500 in stock because he didn't know that they were going to sell like that. And all 500 sold. And then the rest of them were on back orders. Back orders. So, like AirPods. Which is true. It happens. You know what I'm saying? It, so it happens when we don't have shit. To you got sell. AirPods? No. Okay. Hell no. <laughs> I know bougie bitch. No, I still plug my head. I still plug my headphones in from time to time to my computer. Now you have actual speakers. <laughs> I got headphones, dog. I got have, Sony headphones. You have actual What's speakers up? that you wear that you bring around. I tell you one thing that will um that I would endorse it though is uh Ray J's headphones. The Raycons. Yo, son, Ray Ray whole line lit. Like I'm, Ray J is a better salesman. Ray J is a better salesman than Soldier too. I want to go to that Raycon store. It's in New York. They got an actual store. Yes. Oh, we going there. Say no more. Facts. Say less. Facts. Uh, but jumping back to Soldier Boy, uh, he has. There's a lot of validity. He was very upset when, when he talk about the money. That's what. It's, that's when it's like bullshit. It's a little shaky. Because he flexed like he, he was very upset 
at uh at Charlemagne as saying that um both Tiger and Meek Mill had a bigger comeback. Okay, that's another one than I him <laughs> in 2018, that's... and both of them niggas did. Tiger had a comeback. fucking phenomenal. <laughs> I'm giving that biggest comeback shit to Tiger. I'm giving it to Meek. Really? And Meek had a whole album after being in jail. Okay, but... Tiger was just chilling, and then no, he came out right. with some shit. Tiger, his name was in the dirt. Do you understand? Do you remember how like niggas was trashing him when he was with? Uh, I was going. It must have been. It's Kardashian was, thing, right? The, the, what's her name? Kylie. Kylie. Sure. Niggas was trashing him, bro. Like. Fuck Tiger, like he ain't, you know what I'm saying? even when he was trying to put out music during that time he was dating her, that shit was like nothing. It wasn't moving. And then to bounce back from all that hate, I'm not gonna lie to you. I still haven't heard pedophile. I still haven't heard the shit that uh the, the track that he came out with last year. What do you mean? Uh, the one with Nicki Minaj, and then he Which, had another one with Offset. I haven't heard any of them. Them shit was fire. I'm I'm I hey. I'm not saying that they're not. I'm just saying, I'm just saying they, I haven't heard number one on Billboard's. So you you come back with a number one a uh, number one song. So like that's that's you for know me. Saying? Meek Mill came back with number one album now. You think the album was number one, better than every other album? It was a really good album. Okay, it was top. It's a top album of the year for sure. Whether it be hip hop or just music record? in general. What's up? Top five. Yeah. Okay. I, can, I, can, I mean, I it's do. like top three for me from, from last year. Yeah. Okay. All right. But yeah, um, Soldier Boy was mad, upset at that, that he wasn't. But see, I don't think he wasn't I don't think Meek Mill really went comeback. anywhere though. That's the thing. Like he literally went to he jail. He was in jail, but came he, back. And his then, name was never like gone. Yes, it was. No niggas was repping Meek Mill. It was the thrown. Time. It was thrown in the dirt though. After before jail, that was before jail. Niggas thought. Niggas literally thought Meek Mill's career was over after Drake came out with Summer twenty. What was it? Twenty sixteen or seventeen? I don't think it was over. It, I, I never thought it was over. I thought that shit was over. Nah. After he after Drake came out with a song that was catchy with no curse words and it was st- still dissing Meek it Mill was no at curse the same words? There was no curse words damn. in this. How the fuck you PG thirteen dissing nigga? <laughs> God damn, this shit can play the Disney Channel. <laughs> that's, why I thought, that's why I thought it was over after that. And then Meek Mill went to jail, came out. Uh, the Eagles won the Super Bowl. The Philadelphia you know 76ers what? are are dope now. Like Philly has been on the up since Meek Mill got out of admit jail. It, but jail is like a rebrand. Oh Jesus Christ! No, people admit that all the time. Like they, but they, no, but it's never like publicly like, said. When you go to jail, you rebrand and you come back out. You're hot for Gucci rappers. Man, for rappers, uh, boozy. Yeah, well, rappers obviously. Don't want to talk about anybody else. <laughs> Martha Stewart went to jail. I don't think she came out with no new records and shit. She had a TV show, and she had Snoop Dogg on the TV show. So. They they treat her like a real nigga. It's because Martha Stewart is that nigga. I don't know. I think she be saying nigga and <laughs> yeah. shit. So she she good. Nah, she good in the hood. <laughs> she come and start cooking something for you. You gonna be like, nah, you are not good in my in my I don't, spot. I don't trust like. Well, let me not say that. It's Martha though. I don't know. It's I Martha. never pay attention. I don't know. If she be did she use spices and shit? Like when she got season salt or shit? Yeah. Nah. Yeah. Salt and pepper. Come on, skip. She a little spring. Yeah. Skip. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> she, oh yeah She be using them spices Sometimes <laughs> Hey Skip Let me tell you something About those spices Skip Oh don't do what that you to do, me Skip <laughs> Hey You have a handful Of those spices Skip Hey Hey Skip You listen to me Hey Hey, hey Skip Bam. Sorry that's the handful. wrong person Right there Just like that right <laughs> Hey Skip Look Hey Look Just like Hey Skip Hey Look <laughs> Bam! Jumping back to what we were talking about before, though, we were talking about Soldier Boy. Now, oh, you skip. told me when you listened to the interview because I told, I told you about the interview, but I didn't listen to it at that time. And then you, then you told me that it you listened to it before me. No, not only that, it was entertaining. You told me it, it was, was the best better. interview. Than anything else in that 2018. I think that I you, like the interview better than I like the Takashi. You just like Charlemagne are are big ass gassers. Damn, he had he had more views than uh, Takashi already. Did he? Does he? Yes, he did. He did. He got more views than Takashi right now. I looked that shit up right now. Don't Facts. lie to me. It was on. It was on the shade room. You know, shade room was fixed, factual. Shea Everything room, up there is facts, hundred percent true. Shade room bleeps shit out for some reason. I'm not that sure why. That should piss me off, yo. <laughs> you got to go to the actual source to really? find out what they really? said. No, I can't. No, you have no, 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 no. The roommates no. won't agree. Uh, <laughs> Fuck out of here. Well, you talking about Soldier Boy and his game console so, or anyway. him being legit? Um. So I did you not find the interview entertaining? Is this me? What was going on? Oh. I'm bugging out. You watching your old videos? <laughs> we was watching our own, I was watching our own videos. So, all right. So, um, did you not find the interview entertaining? No. At all? When I'm Damn. watching, so when I'm watching, well, he was Breakfast yelling, Club, and Sean was like, hey, "Stop yelling at me, man!" Oh, that's hey. my that's my <laughs> main. <laughs> that shit was funny as fuck. Hey, that, I was just saying, <laughs> that was your voice, young man. I, I'm what I'm what I was saying was that's funny. My main issue with it was him, like throughout the interview, it was him being a character character version of himself like eventually it started to be like 
they was asking him questions just to jump into character because they talked about him. Up. Yeah, because they talked about him telling his story about the shit they talked about before about him being shot out by by one of his boys and shit. Like they wanted him to play out his character but on I think screen. That's, I for think it's marketing though. You have to know how to market yourself because for one. You, like when you, but it's the same shit I get on Nicki Minaj about. It's like it, in that interview, nah. it was like him being a character. But we, it's it's done, it's done in a funny type of way, though. No, he was dead ass serious, it, nigga. He was there's, there's no way you turn it up for 13 seconds. And you turn was, you turn down immediately when he was talking about that story about gears? about him almost losing his life and I was getting oh, shot yeah, and different. shit. That's he different. was turned to fuck up, or he was. But dead his, serious even on that, that was like a little shaky. That story a little. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Yeah, because uh, you know and when, he jump, and when he jumped out but, of his but, seat oh, and said, "Drake, J- Jabbar was in the living room. No, he's in the kitchen. No, and they had to kidnap him. I'm like, Wait, what the fuck did they try to do? So what happens? I don't right? know. Like, <laughs> so I mean, I don't know. I guess because it's 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 one of those things where you can have you know post traumatic stress disorder, like dealing with some shit like that. I don't know what happened for real, but like you know, obviously something did happen. And then his whole um Drake, oh damn! That again, he was playing around. That's him playing around. Well, yeah, that was because you know what that, I'm saying Drake. Because like now it's the thing, the biggest meme of the week. Now, nah, yeah, Drake, Tiger, Kanye, like he went in Ariana. God like, damn, that shit oh, yeah, got nine point eight million views and, in four days. Yeah, she got ten million views in four days. Yeah, that was more than that was more than Takashi. Yeah. 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 I ain't even gonna look at Sakashi because I know it's, more, it's I know it's more than that. That's yeah. wild. I'm saying big soldier Drake all out here. So yeah, soldier got his uh name back he had, on I screen mean, shit. I won't say eighteen, but two thousand eighteen. Oh, sorry. Come back. So yeah, what I was gonna say, my main point and everything, um, because he did have at least one valid point, and it was the Just fact one? that yes, at you least hate her, bro. No, it was one major point though. It's the fact that he said that um he started this whole social media yeah, rappers getting facts. on because of social media. That I can't I can't doubt him on that because yeah. every every rapper that you see right now or every singer or whatever the hell you want to call themselves right now, um everybody that's had their own dance record right now it stems yeah, from the, dance, the, dance the original shit. one is Crank That Soldier Boy and he invented it yeah even like immediately after that when they had Crank That Spider Man Crank That Everything. Superman all that BS after that like it was all copying off of Soldier, Soldier so Boy. he's got a point I'm on that saying. like the social it media was, games Soldier Boy had on lock and yeah. it, it started I even followed him. him back in the day I remember that shit like I remember the first video I seen when he was like yo I'm gonna tell y'all something, cause y'all like that niggas be over here commenting bullshit. Every time y'all comment, I get they pay me for that shit. So y'all be mad, y'all, y'all be mad at the keyboard like, damn. So I say fuck him, but I want to pay him. Like I remember that shit. This is like damn near 15 years ago. You know what I'm saying? So he's been on that type of shit. And once that, I guess once people learn that there's money in that, and once like I guess labels know that you can literally market that, and then you know labels always want to get all your money. So it's it's just it was smart. It was smart. You know what I'm saying? So as much as people want to discredit him, there's a lot of validity in the shit that he was saying. I think the Big main Draco. reason... The main reason I'm in with this, the main reason why people discredit him is because he talks a lot of... Do you? Yeah, because he's yeah. irrational. He's crazy. he used to be talking. He yeah. seemed like one of them niggas just be talking just to, just to hear himself speak sometimes. But and like I like, said, if you, yeah, if you listen to some of the shit that he's saying, a lot of that shit you can find validity in it. You but can you gotta trace weave, it back. You got to weave through it, though. You got to yeah. weave through the, the BS because there's a lot of BS in there. Um, but Did yeah, you know Nick Did you know the Superman dance? Made himself, huh? Did you know how to crank that back in the day? Back in the day, hell yeah. If okay. that shit come on right now, I'm be like, I do, I do this and then I won't know the rest of the song. I, I, yeah, I know. I, I, I used to know all them shit. That's because I was, I was living in the South, but... It was all the the Batman, the Spider Man. I know all them shits back in the day. Yeah, Soldier Boy, Big Draco, put some respect on his name, fam. No, Big uh, fucking Draco. Speaking of somebody else that's coming <laughs> up in the in the R and B or in the music game, LMA. Somebody it's, that's coming up. It's a no refunds podcast, so you know we got to talk about LMA. Fam. She came up with a video. You, I'm sorry, she LMA. calls it a visual. A she visual. came up with a visual. For a it's, shot clock, it's because she don't. Know you know, it's wild. She, uh, she, she on her Twitter, she had asked what visual she could, she should come out with, Did but the video was already done. Twitter, yeah, the video was already done. So it was like anybody that's commenting is like your voice is going unheard because nobody wants to, nobody's going to hear you. Um, she came out with a visual for shot clock. I like, I like shot it. clock. I think I told you that was one of my favorite songs off of there. Shot clock was a dope song. For okay, her. so. The song video came out about three months. Yeah, she been had a video for that. Okay. Song came out three months ago with the release of her album, or oh, it was in November. Uh, you know, yes, absolutely. What's she. The date? What's the date? 
don't remember. <laughs> oh, you ain't loyal, nigga. <laughs> was, uh, her video right now for Shot Clock has 1.5 million okay. views. That's pretty decent. Yeah. I when when did she release it? Three days ago. Oh, oh, okay. That's good. No, it's not good enough. 1.5 million in three days? No, I got an issue with that. No, that's good. That's really good. Listen, listen. I listen. Gotta, no. You got to watch this more? I got an issue with that. Hey, no, just, hey look, just go home, play no. it, put on loop. You good. You can no. give her about, like, <laughs> give about just, 50. Just have a cue. <laughs> you playing back to back to back. About 100 uh, views in a day and shit. You my know? main thing with the song, well, one, with the song Shot Clock, it, for a video at least, it doesn't lend itself to, to making an interesting video. And no? The video itself. Wait, is, are you critiquing her? Damn. I got to be honest. We progressed in 2019. I'm, I'm, I'm honest with yeah. everybody. Yeah. The video itself is like Trash. super not interesting. Damn. Like, think about the vibe of the song. You better, son. Think about the if vibe. Your biggest fan said you trash. Think, <laughs> I'm all about. I, I want my people to prosper. Okay. Think about the the the, the song itself. Is like anything, how how t- the tempo of the song. Is there anything basketball related in that video? It's all basketball related. Really? Yeah. It's just see, her. I would look. See, I feel like maybe one day I'm gonna be a director. The just way, shot, the way I would have did the it. Whole video. No, just like dating a basketball player. And then everything else is like, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I think that that would have been dope. That's not what she did. So I could have been dope. <laughs> hey, yo, fam, you. I can no. direct your shit. Even, even, even the thumbnail for her is like her sitting in the bleachers. Um, okay. She, I'm not mad at that. It's the bleachers at a basketball game. I'm not it's mad not at even it. like a big basketball court. It's like is she the only school. person sitting there? Yeah. It's just Damn. Like, uh, the <laughs> video is just like her and people, niggas walking up to her. One of them is like her being outside of a convenience store and there's a random shot clock just like winding down while a nigga is trying to talk to her which is like the most literal way you can project that actual music video or that song um here's my thing with the song or with the video that she came out with for me like i said i want her to have obviously the most success um she may not want to have her videos associated with like features and shit but if you want to get views and obviously with views come money and comes publicity what she should have done did you put it on the big screen or you put it on a small screen uh, what she should have done is release a video for whatchamacallit the reason why I rock look the reason why I rock I know you don't I know you don't care about whatchamacallit but the reason why I rock whatchamacallit so hard is Wait, because we quick. can make money off of Chris Brown why is this bleacher in the middle of the street I don't <laughs> I don't that's what why the I, fuck is you doing where did, where did that chocolate come from it's, yeah <laughs> All right. Yeah, exactly. Come so on. you get to watch our reaction or Malcolm's reaction uh, to the LMA shot clock video. My thing, the reason why I say what you call it would have is a big hit is because it has Chris Brown on it. Yo, she- Everybody on her album, as far as futures go, Chris Brown is the biggest. And for her to get views and notarization and Notarized. praise and all that shit, yeah, is for her to have a big video. And Chris Brown being on a music video with her. Would have not only oh, bought in braids. LMA videos she, or she, LMA she fans. She looks a little fire with braids. It would have. No, she, she looks fire regardless. It would have bought in Chris Brown fans to watch the video too. I like the, that the shit braids. would have done at least four million in the last three days when her shot clock video did one point five. That's you my only tell, issue with it. You could tell she one of those girls who be like, I was I was born in the wrong generation. The wrong generation. Fuck out of here. <laughs> Big ass clothes. Stop. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> But still, I love you. I love like I, I love your video. I like your video. I like her. I love your music, obviously, and I love you. But I want you to have the why most wearing, success. Why she wearing Under Armour? And if you're coming out with a new music video anytime soon, make sure your next video, your only video that comes out is What You McCall. Unless you come up with a new song, then I'm, I'm down Under for Armour? that too. I don't know. Was What You McCall successful though? No. Like, I don't know if What You McCall was successful as far it's, as like, I mean, we don't have numbers for streams, so I don't, look, I don't. We can look that shit up in um, Apple Music. We ain't finna do that shit. I'm just saying, I don't like. Shot Clock was a very popular one, like so. But my thing is with with what you call it, you bring in not only LMA fans, you bring in Chris Brown fans. But if it if it wasn't a catchy song, if people wasn't like people like a lot of times after um an artist put the album out, the fans will choose the next single because that'd be like the most popular song. So if Shot Clock was one of the most popular songs outside outside of the song that she already had singles for, then it was only right to do that to do that um that song. Nah, any high energy from her. And that, that fucking song doesn't require high energy, as you can see from the video that you're watching right now. Her eyebrows don't even move in that video. I don't like the shot clock. <laughs> her eyebrows don't raise not one bit in that video. That means she's not interested. I'm tired it's of just her hair. being herself and shit. I'm tired of baby hair. That's her hair. She do it. She do it on purpose. Yeah, I love it. I don't like it. Love it. Speaking of people loving. <laughs> like she do this. <laughs> oh, no, she definitely, she definitely do the tongue technique. <laughs> 
<laughs> Lay them no, bitches but, um, eh, down. You Any should, final thoughts? You, should, you still watch that video, We right? should start doing like a little like uh, reaction, reaction videos. videos to these music videos. This should be three minutes long. That's not... that. We could do that. That'd we could have done one for the Cardi B video. Uh, she... Cardi B and I guess what is it? City Girls? We still can. City Girls came out with a turk. Well, we already saw for, for, the video. For, 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 We're for, talking about it right now. Alright, so next time a new video come out that we're interested in, don't watch it. She only three minutes long? <laughs> what? It's only three minutes long? It's... I don't know. Yeah, I wasn't impressed. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like the the video, the song itself. That was my first time watching an LMA uh, music video, though. I'm not really big on music videos because I always feel like music videos don't do the song justice. And in that scenario, in that situation, it definitely doesn't. Yeah, I mean, (laughs) it could have been better. I feel like directors are getting lazy as far as like the creativity, but that might be attributed to the budget. You never know how much uh, money niggas is working with and shit. But fam, like, I could I could do that shit way better. I was gonna say for that video. she could have hired us to do that shit. Facts. Because it's nothing Listen, special about that music video. Um, we're not just podcasters. We're creatives outside of podcasts. We are visionaries. Video editors, directors, all this shit. All the above. Artists. You know what I'm saying? So We do all that shit. Every fucking thing. Whoa. It's <laughs> very loud. That's, they gotta hear it. That's how you yelling at people. Man. They gotta hear it. You okay. know what I'm saying? Okay. Right, what that, <laughs> uh, speaking of music videos, okay. how did you feel about the uh, the twerk video? Twerk, 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 twerk. twerk, twerk, twerk Damn, that, that is the 2019 uh, back that thing up, holding it down for the big girls, 18 and the nine, not one nine. All, all them numbers, fam. <laughs> oh shit, holding down for the 18 and the, and the one nine. Uh, yeah, <laughs> she. So Cardi B did a video with uh, City Girls with their was it what's it called twerk twerk. Okay, simple yes, enough. Yeah, simple. And, and Catchy. if you don't know the the meaning behind the song, if you don't know the song itself, the title gives it all away. And the music video does it justice, at least. Here's my thing with twerk videos, though. It's like a tease, and I don't like teases. You want to get straight to the point? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, that could be that could be like the foreplay. You know, what I don't saying? like I don't like that. No, nah, you watch the like you watch the twerk video. You know what I'm saying? Click on the next screen. Boom. Point. What? Foreplay. It gets you started, and then you go. You can just it. go to the porn video and just, no, because I don't get you started. It'll, it'll, you know what I'm saying? The porn videos have porn videos have a well. First of all, they have do you evolved. watch? Do you, do you, do you watch the storyline? Devolved, huh? Do you watch the storyline on the sometimes porn depending on how interesting it is? If you got like mad time on your hands, like yeah, <laughs> I mean, if you got hell time on your hands, you gonna watch the fucking whole twerk video, mu- music video to, to get yourself prepared and shit. Yeah, it's like me grabbing the lotion and just, and then and now we gonna watch the porn video and shit. You use lotion? Yeah. You just go dry? Oh, yeah. You, you're a psychopath. No, nah, pressure points. No, nah, you're a fucking psychopath. Pressure points, bro. Mm-mm. That's, That's how it. you get a uh, fucking rash. No. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's not. See, si, senor. I've never got a rash. So it's, not, <laughs> it's not how it happens. That's how you get sores. It depends on how you do it. From dry points. shit. It's cold outside, too. This ashy dick. <laughs> <laughs> if you're, you're, you, you, you don't lotion your body when you get out the shower? I do, but still. Uh, I don't, uh, if you do, then you ain't, you ain't ashy. You feel mm-mm. me? Mm-mm. I'm just saying. All right. <laughs> I'm just saying. So the Cardi B video, twerk, it was twerk, cool. Twerk, I twerk, mean, twerk. honestly, it was better than the LMA video. But uh, damn, I guess LMA. they what well, they had to cut the the, the Them girls that can't even talk. Got they had a video uh, to you, fam. Well, no, Cardi was on there. That's the reason why the video but old girl was popping. And would you let you y'all know? Uh, some of y'all getting <laughs> flued out. I mean, twenty thousand, twenty five thousand, in uh, you know, what I'm saying high school. So co- yeah, the premise. <laughs> I guess the premise behind the video was uh, they had a contest. Well, they had a contest before the video came out on who yes. could twerk the best. I guess to the video. It was a contest, and so um, a lot of girls had to put the hashtag uh, twenty city girl twenty five k twerk some shit like that. It was like a challenge. A twerk- essentially like a twerk challenge. Right, and they had to post a twerk video, and so after they chose the the finalist, and then they uh Narrowed they flew them down. out. They got flewed out. They got flewed out. They got flewed out. Pretty sure that's not the right word. A lot of them I follow already. So, okay. Uh, I was like, oh, we're going we're gonna to jump back to flewed out, though, because it's not an actual word. It was, she say it. Okay. I believe it. Fair enough. She got, they got flewed out. You know okay. what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> so there's the video. Just going to keep and going then, with it. And oh, bigger, bigger one. You know what I'm saying? Bigger won the contest. I don't think she was that big of a girl. She was big. She was ugly. Fam. But she wasn't a big girl. Bro, she was thick. Thick yes, head. but she doing flips like that, bro. No, yeah, no. big girl, big girl, don't be doing that shit. Babe, did you see her do a flip into the damn ocean? Did you see? Okay, you probably missed that part. I saw her hit the ground. She did on a flip into flip. the ocean and like the splash almost knocked everybody off the boat. She was because they had skinny bitches on there. They almost tell, them, tell them get your weight up. I'm just saying, hey, get your fucking weight they, up. They, they little, skinny, little but small, they got ass. Little thin they bitches. Ass. So. Hey, 
The ass having it's still thin. They pay for it. The ass ain't got no control. They ain't got no <laughs> control over their ass and shit. Yeah, they pay for it. I mean, I didn't have a remote control ass. <laughs> You know, the new they got a chip embedded in their brain and the shit new, until their asses work and the shit. The new asses that, you know, girls begin on big asses, bro. Them chips, left, right cheek. Psh. 2019, we coming for this you. This shit clap by itself. Clap by it. You know what I'm saying? With, with, with no, we're not shaming them, bro. You know what I'm saying? I ain't shaming nobody. I'm just saying. I just, like, I, I just don't, don't fuck with y'all. I still don't understand if why. It, if it look, make it at least look, you know what I'm saying, look real. I don't understand the purpose of twerk videos, like... Like, it's just there to get niggas happy about asses yeah. and shit. I'm just saying. I, and I, at I'm that point, feel, once you're happy them. about asses on your phone, boom. Exactly. Safari. Turned up. X videos. Time to turn up. Asses. Exactly. Asses and pretty time faces. Time to turn up. Yeah. I'm just saying. I'm thinking, there's no you need, watch it, it's no to need for up. a Turk video. You watch a Turk video? Okay. All right. Get me started and shit. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, what's like, that okay. down there? What, feel? Uh, what time is it? Okay. <laughs> I got time and shit. <laughs> yeah, you got to check the scenery. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You got scope. I got to take a shower in a few minutes, but I could, I could rub one out in the meantime. Okay. 10 minutes. Yeah, yeah. I got time. Yeah. That's exactly yeah. how it works. I'm just saying. So, I'm just saying, fam. Like, I'm with it. I like it. I like it. I'm just saying. But as far as the girls with fake asses, uh, chill. Like, you can get a medium. Sit your ass down. You can get a medium. Sit you, don't, your, you, don't need, you don't need extra large. Sit your large ass down, fam. Like you can't even lay on your back no more. Like you know how you know how comfortable laying on your back is. Like you can't do that shit no more. You gotta lay on your side at all you times. Mad scoliosis laying on your back when you got a fake ass, bro. I mean, the same thing with with chicks with big titties. They still get bad, got bad backs and shit. Yeah, but they can lay on their back. True. <laughs> I'm still got bad backs from walking. Yeah, but you walk more than you sleep. So. <laughs> All right, whatever. Um, so we're gonna make a a huge 180 turn to a whole another topic. Damn, you had a good segue, huh? Uh, no, I don't, cause it's next one we're talking about Spider Man. Hey, uh, <laughs> oh, hey, would wh- wh- would you would you look at that? <laughs> you wear that shirt every other week. It's, it's no surprise. That's not true. It's no surprise. It's not true, fam. It's not true. No surprise that you're wearing a Spider Man shirt today. <laughs> I'm just saying, uh, I'm about to go see Spider Man in a couple hours, so I had to wear a Spider Man shirt. Like I told you before, it's a great movie. Just That's the only reason. Towards like, I had to change my shirt. I bought them. Oh, you know what I should do? I should wear Spider-Man wear the Spider Man shirt again. Yeah. Thanks. For another, for another week, the uh, the the movie is dope. Like, Enter the Spider Verse is dope. Like it's just at the end when it's a whole bunch of lights going on and shit, then your eyes might get hurt looking at it. We oh, can uh, we you can, go to uh, regular screen then, right? You're can, not going to the 3D shit. Nah, we okay. can go to uh, we can go in depth and give a, a solid review next nope. week when I see it. Okay, yeah, we'll all do the that. spoilers and shit. Yeah, all the spoilers, all of them. We give you your warning right now. All the spoilers next, next week's week. episode. Next week, um, Spider-Man. but Spider Man, the other Spider Man from the uh, Far MCU, from home. Far from home, from the MCU. And well, that's that's really Sony is the MCU. It's like it's, whatever. It's it is definitely the Marvel Cinematic Universe. But Sony owns it. They're just partnering with MCU, so he's not really MCU. He is. He's this Spider Man. Right. Is in the MCU. It's deeper than it's deeper than his bro. Nigga, the the nigga from Spider Man Homecoming <laughs> uh, has a new trailer, or right, the, right, right. so they have a new trailer. So Marvel yeah. which has is, a new trailer, which is, stu- which is dumb because from so, sorry from Spider Man Far From Home is the name of the new movie that's coming out in July, if I'm not mistaken, which is after the Avengers for Endgame. Endgame. Yes, so a lot of people were mad about the trailer coming out. I was one of them, right? Because mind you, it wasn't Marvel that put it out; it was Sony that put the trailer out. So they were they were mad because why would you fucking put this trailer out and niggas everybody think that Spider Man is dead right now? Speaking of not spoilers, that's a big ass spoiler exactly. for the next Avengers movie. So after digging, um, doing some digging, for I one, I don't want to hear nothing you about to talk about. Sony is about to oh Apple is about to buy Sony, and once Apple buys Sony, then Marvel is going to get all the rights to Spider Man. Like so I don't know if this is a, sp- uh, a petty move on Sony's part, but that was some bullshit. That was definitely some bullshit. And then there, there's a bunch of videos on YouTube talking about how is Spider Man still alive? Maybe it's before the Avengers four and shit. No, I nigga. seen some things. All this alternate universe. Shut the fuck no. up. <laughs> Shut up. No, <laughs> we not. I'm not that fucking stupid. Like I so, know when this takes place, and it's right. obviously after the Avengers. So my main mm-hmm. issue with this whole thing is that not only did I guess Sony spoil the Spider Man thing, but Marvel did this way before any of this happened because they released like a little timeline this is like back in 2016 or 2015 or something like that where they had I guess their phase 4 of things would have a list of all the different Marvel movies coming out in the future and Avengers 4 was already on the list so that's where my issue with this started with like you already gave away the ending to Avengers 
three, the last one that came out, Infinity War, like we already knew going into Infinity War, like Thanos was going to win, and then they're going to come out with a four, and then the Avengers are going to win. It's like you left us with no suspense, but people, it's still going to be millions of people that go and watch yeah. how the movie ends. But yeah. for Marvel, if you're going to be smart about it, like don't let us know that it's other Avengers movie coming out after so, Thanos so, wins Sony. and shit. Tony. No, no, what I'm talking about is like the the list that I'm talking about, the MCU universe, universe, not the Spider Man thing. Like, well, okay, so the whole Avengers thing, the whole Avengers thing. If you remember, um, I don't know if you've seen Ant Man and the Wasp, and but, they advertised that too on their phase. But four did you or see whatever. the movie? Yeah. Okay, so if you watch that movie, you can tell that it it, it happens before. Um, Obviously, before Infinity, but it War. came out after Avengers three. That's my thing, right? So a lot of a, a lot of what they were doing, even Marvel, Captain Marvel, that's coming out. That's like. Fucking uh, uh, forty years ago, it takes place in the seventies. Right. So a lot of the moves that are coming out after the Avengers are like predated to the Avengers. But that's not happening. the case with this the Spider-Man. Only, movie. That's right. It's, it's not. And the only difference is Sony is the one that owns Spider-Man, so they did some bullshit. So it was very, like I said, it was dumb on their part. A lot of people was mad. Um, I feel like it was stupid as well. Also, but um, let me just say that Sony's not going to be owning Spider-Man for much longer. So. Fuck y'all. It's only not going to own shit for a while besides PlayStation and Venom. Apple's about to own PlayStation. Jesus Christ. I'm scared. Oh, wait. So, I think when um when Apple buys Sony, I think the uh, MCU is going to give rights to Venom also, which might be dope. I would love to see that type of shit. Oh, and also, spoiler, I, let, I haven't watched the video, but there's a video on YouTube uh, with Hugh Jackman. I was about to say Logan. That's why it's not his name. Nah, say, say his <laughs> name, bro. His name is <laughs> la, 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 Logan. Real niggas um, know. May or may not be making an appearance, making an appearance in Avengers. Avengers. Yeah, I read that too. Because they were uh, the X Men series was under Sony as well, and I guess Deadpool is too. No, no, Deadpool's not. Deadpool. Deadpool's Fox. Oh shit. Which is now Disney. F all these people, man. Let, it's a lot of, it's a lot of all, uh, behind the scenes together, shit, bro, when it comes to these movies. I don't like all this money shit, man. <laughs> Big fan. Yo, Disney owned everything, son. They trying to. Fucking Fox, ESPN. ABC. Like, Disney owns everything. Fam, that's that's crazy. Fuck if you're watching man. it, more than likely it's owned and by Disney. All they're doing, like, all doing is like making everything like PG-13 now. Like yeah. Deadpool. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here, shit. son. Mm-mm. Once upon a Deadpool was PG-13. Well, now nah, they're, they're doing good with their Netflix series still. Disney? Marvel. Studios. Marvel, yeah, De- Netflix canceled that shit. They're all canceled. They still got Punisher. And yeah, Punisher that was the last one. That That's it. This season. is the last season. Uh, whatever. There is no more season. They were doing great. <laughs> they, they were, were doing but good. um, yeah, all this is canceled now. <laughs> Jesus Christ! There's so Disney. many, there's so many politics shit, to this shit, bro. It's fucking bullshit. I, I Everything's canceled. I just want a little bit of like, that money. Iron. I don't know if you saw the Iron Fist, the season two. Nah, the first one was trash. The second one, second one was really good. I'm not finna watch the second one if I can't get past the first one. It was tolerable, but nah, it was, wasn't. Nope. Right. It, it depends <laughs> on what you're watching it for. Like, if you're watching it for nothing but action, then Watch you're going to be disappointed. Team. Okay. But that's how, I guess that's how it is, is with um, That's how it is with Daredevil, too. Daredevil had a lot of action, though. The first series, the first season, didn't have a lot of action. The, but, but the story was really dope, too. It was really good. So, But, even, oh, the second season was great. That's what the Punisher, ooh, that shit was crazy. Yeah, Daredevil was dope. I think they canceled that, too, didn't they? Yep. The, okay. It, there's a season three out now. It actually just came out a couple months ago. I'm still watching it currently. But yeah. Oof. Anyway. Hmm. They canceled Luke Cage. They canceled Jessica Jones. Jessica Jones is trash. They canceled Iron Fist. Um, they canceled Daredevil. They had a group together, right? Uh, the Defenders. They canceled that. I saw one episode of that. I was like, uh, I'm out. I watched the whole thing. I'm a, I'm a big Marvel head, man. So anytime I, some Marvel shit come out, I watch it. I'm out. Everything. Huh? No, okay. Not you. All nope. right. It's all good, bro. Hating ass nigga. Not a hater. Just, if <laughs> nah, I don't, and you hate on if Marvel, I like fam. It, if I don't like it in the first 10 minutes, I'm out. Really? Yep. Even a movie? Yep. You're not going to. You're going to fall asleep. <laughs> you going to fall asleep in a movie? <laughs> yep. No, I'll, I'll no fall asleep. I, I know you sleep during Spider-Man. I mean, I, damn. That's <laughs> Missed the whole movie. But you watched it twice, though. Yeah, I had you to go. I had money. to go see it. I didn't. That's respect. I told you, you, you AMC. You lost my guy? A-list. Yeah, I lost it a while ago. Damn. Funny thing is, I didn't notice it until like a, a, a week house. later and shit. No, I left it at my own house somewhere. <laughs> yeah. uh, house. Speaking of, I don't have no transition for this shit either. Cool, Adrian bro. Broner. Damn. Speaking of, speaking of fights, A B. Like they got in uh, in in, in the go. Avengers. Let it go, bro. Nah, speaking of it fights, was too late. We already Adrian Broner got his ass beat lost another up. fight, Yo. making him three and three and one in his last seven fights. Honestly, that and last fight, reason, which I think was a draw. 
the last fight, I feel like he won. But this one with Pacquiao, yo, Pacquiao beat the shit out of AB, son. He beat the shit out of AB, fam. That shit was crazy. At, like, like people was, I guess people was expecting because he's Pacquiao him to be, forty. I guess, well, not just that. I'm, I'm talking about the Adrian Broner side of things. People was expecting him to be the next Floyd Mayweather because he was back in the day. He was yeah be, before he lost his first match. Obviously, yeah, he was running his mouth and backing it up at least Super at the cocky. time. But then. He and got he caught took up. That, took that L, and it's like he, he got caught up in that lifestyle, bro. Like you spending your money, you drinking, you partying. And you I think he shake. was hanging. He was hanging around Floyd too, but but the thing if you is, see Floyd, Floyd yeah. never drink. Floyd be party, but he he not the one drinking. And it's good. Floyd said he. Would, I don't know if this is true, but he said after his party, he would run to the hotel like jog. That, that makes sense. Like, I mean, that, I mean, dedication, fam. Back in the day, like boxers used to do Crazy regular shit. regular people shit. Even back then, like, used to run around the city that they lived in and shit just to go back to their own place. Because they didn't have to worry about cameras and, yeah, they didn't have to worry about <laughs> niggas. They didn't and have if, to worry about niggas hey, just pulling up on them right shit. there. Hey, Rocky. I'm marching around. Rocky's not a real person, but okay. <laughs> no, <I'm just laughs> Muhammad saying. Ali used to be, like, running around the city. Him and uh, even Joe Frazier would, like, don't just, walk don't, around don't the old city. It. Rocky Marciano is real. Fuck. Oh, I was talking about Rocky, the, the Philadelphia movie? Rocky. Yeah. He's 50 and 0. No, he ain't. The, the Rocky Marciano? Oh, I'm talking about the Philly Rocky. The movie Rocky. Based on the real one? That nigga done lost all the fights. <laughs> he lose. He came back. He came back. Nigga, I don't know what it is about them Rocky movies, but them niggas don't practice blocking at all. Them niggas, yeah, punch me in the face, and I'll try to see if oh, I can recover God. later on. Like, them niggas yo, get... Yo, movies, they don't never block in movies, though. <laughs> they take every shot, bro. Like, nah, that's not how it goes. Nah, that's not how boxing is, sir. That's, yeah, blocking is No, you're, you're a terrible boxer. Yeah, you, you don't live in that his shit come in slow motion. All. You look at it wide open. Yeah, time to and move. Still get something. hit with like, it, fam. Like, but um, no. but going back to Adrian Broner, Broner not only lost, he had the false mentality that he actually won. Yeah. After any of you talking about, I some, controlled the fight. Yeah, no, he ran. Any, any he anybody ran. knows that uh, I won that fight? Like, nah, nigga. This there was this one. Uh, I didn't watch the fight, and I know that you lost the fight. I think I, I watched the whole fight. I think it was like uh, around nine. I think, but he got hit with this crazy hook. Manny Pacquiao like. Manny Pacquiao threw a hook so bad that he almost fell too. Like he, hit him. <laughs> he put his heart behind it. Whoa. He put his heart behind that. They, they behind that jab, fell from that hook, and then that's that almost knocked Adrian off his feet. But he after that hook, he ran the entire next three rounds. He that's, ran. That's my he only ran. thing with boxing. Like he fucking ran. That's my main thing with boxing, which is why I think it's a dying I sport. Like the fight. No, you didn't. Niggas will box for what's it, thirty six straight minutes. To a decision Like nah I'm not trying to watch but 12 that's the thing, rounds of bullshit I get it Because you don't want to be That guy who got knocked out So it was more so like I got my pride I don't want to get knocked out Yes If I were a boxer That's exactly how If like right. If I were a boxer I would want to be I'll Floyd lose, Mayweather I'll lose the points I don't, You ain't gonna knock me out Nah I'll be the nigga That's not getting hit I'll be Floyd Mayweather Like I'll take that shit Aspect If I no am friend. a boxer yeah. But for As a fan Like I'm trying to see Niggas get knocked out yeah, Which I is mean, why which Mike is Tyson's fights Was entertaining Deontay Why um Deontay Wilder Muhammad Ali All the heavyweight Or the great heavyweights why their fights were so entertaining. Keyword, but these, Yeah, these small dudes, like, they're, just, they're just trying to... These niggas can't really knock niggas out that well. Like, you only weigh 120. But they charging... Some of them... Manny Pacquiao hit hard as fuck. I think he on drugs again. Allegedly. I think he on drugs again. He He's hit, 40. He hit hard enough to knock out... Uh, but he had too much energy. To knock out like, Floyd. Um, yeah, because he can't hit Floyd. <laughs> <laughs> you can't really, you can't really touch him. <laughs> His defense is too solid. But, like, as far as, um, as, far as Manny Pacquiao, when you're 40... And this dude, like at the end of the, at the end of round twelve, he still had a lot of energy. Oh, he, he on that shit, bro. He on that shit. There's no way he's not. So so what? <laughs> so what? So what? Yeah, I'll, be, I'll be here for nowadays entertainment. A little if bit of steroids you, here. If you're watching little dudes fight. You're not GH. like you said. If you you're not watching them get fight uh, to get knocked out, then you watch them have a lot of energy and shit. Whoever got the most energy at the end normally wins. You know, got a lot of energy by decision. Big Draco. <laughs> But so respect on Big Draco. Also, somebody else who was on Power 105.1 this week. Uh, ASAP Rocky took this whole... Wait, he was on... That was on the Angie Martinez show, right? Oh, yeah, it is Power 105. Yes, sir. Did they, you watch they it? They didn't cap... No, hell no. Uh, <laughs> ASAP Rocky I'm, I'm, I'm took, this, took this whole gender equality to the next level. And I understand where he's coming from. He said he feels like females should be paying him or should be taking him shopping at least. Uh, because he feels like he's a bad bitch, or he's the equivalent to a bad bitch in the male version. I don't shit. think you should say that. Hey, I man. Mean? 
if you feel like you're the most you the most sexy person in the relationship, if you feel like your yeah, girl don't look as good as you, but, you know, but I feel that I feel that part. <laughs> but don't call yourself a bad bitch. Don't do that. That's what he was implying, though. He, but you, he, he said it already. You already said it. You don't gotta. Oh, because I'm a bad. No, nigga, you don't gotta say all that. Nah, nah. He, he wanted to make sure like niggas know like. Why? This is, this is, <laughs> Let me tell you why. Because no I'm a bad bitch. But wait, no, no, but not the not the real one. There's I'm, no I'm equivalent to a to a male version, or there's no words at least that equate to a a, a bad bitch in that the, in the male version. Nah, yeah, it's not good enough. What more do you want? Nah, come with right now. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Um, I'm a bad nigga. No, <laughs> no, nigga, <laughs> you sound like you, you sound like a criminal. <laughs> No, bad boy. I'm a bad boy. Uh, what they what they call him? Your snack. That's what it is. Your snack. Okay. That's that's what it's called. I didn't even know they still use that. That's probably cause, probably because they think, don't I use that term no thing, more. Like uh, <laughs> niggas slide into a girl DM. You a snack? I'm a snack. Let's try to have a picnic. Like, okay, mm, okay. Niggas right. got whole sandwiches at picnics though. So, see, also a sandwich, fun a sandwich fact: is not a snack. My mama said don't use the word picnic because it's still for a picnic nigga or some shit like that. It's supposed to be like racist and shit. Oh. Then again, everything is racist nowadays. They got the little Indian so nigga. Like, they got they a, do, they or Native pick American a nigga dude. and then eat on I don't, the beach. I don't. How do I, you? I think that I think the rest of like the eating at a park is separate from the picnic part of things. Pick a nigga to eat. okay. All right, whatever. Yeah. Cool. So cookouts. Yeah, they be having like cookouts and shit. I don't know, nah, man. No, can't really use cookouts. So yeah, ASAP is a bad bitch. Snack on a towel. And like I said, I look if I'm the he if a I'm bad the, bitch. If I'm the breadwinner, if I'm the dude that's... If you're the breadwinner. The most successful or... I don't know, man. I'm trying I'm, tr- I'm trying to side with him so you bad. You can't, bro. I'm just saying. All right. <laughs> I, I get where he's coming from, right? I feel like when you are quality as as a man, then the then you should be getting treated better than the, these regular ass fuck niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I do a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? You feeling me way more than I'm feeling you. Show me that you're feeling me. <laughs> okay. You ever, you, you've been in that situation, right? You are. I know. I'm not in any situation. No, you have been, I'm saying. Okay. When a girl was like feeling you more. That's you great. were feeling her. Like, they would agree. They would try to buy you shit. Like, I've been I've been in that situation, too. But she was just crazy and from New York. So, like, I don't fuck with people from New York. So, you a bad bitch, too. No, nigga. I'm just nah, saying. You, you was. <laughs> no. You was a bad bitch. <laughs> That's not the fucking term we're using. <laughs> we're not bringing that to. to nah, you definitely, definitely a bad bitch. So I'm just saying, like, you got bitches buying shit for you. Ooh. Yeah. Nigga. Ooh. Oh. Grr. So you're really trying to be a bad bitch out here. Yeah. What else we got? Because we're gonna move on from this. So <laughs> we 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 gonna continue on this topic a little bit. Wait. Um. So we used to give advice like so relationship. You feel like you feel like um. Girl should be buying you shits on me. I mean, female or women, I, I feel like, I guess the term female is derogative nowadays. Yes. Females. <laughs> fucking. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> female asses. I don't care, man. Females. <laughs> they mean, already females. do the shit for their for they significant other. If they we in do a everything for these, semi relationship. For these females or already. Semi successful relationship. Well, it's still women that's out. I mean, I'm pretty sure your girl buys you stuff still, too. Look, it's women I out wish. there. It's women out there I that wish. buy their dudes things for nothing, regardless. for no reason. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, Show some appreciation. That's just uh, as far as like taking people, taking they do shopping and shit like that's fucking weird. That's but, weird. Yeah. yeah hey, babe, like, you want you want me? You trying to go to the mall so I, can, so I can splurge on you? Like, hey, mm, look, I see. No, like, it's different. Like, what you should do, ladies. I'm gonna get his advice to y'all. What you should do if you're dating a dude that's a really good dude. You know what I'm saying? Buy this nigga something every now and then. Let him know that you appreciate him. Because niggas, they like we need our ego stroked, bro. As men, like every man needs his ego stroked every now and then. I ain't gonna lie, I might, I might, I agree with that, but I might feel uncomfortable going to a mall and having my girl buy me stuff. No, in front no, of, don't in take front it to the mall. People. I'm saying buy it and bring it to you. Like, I but no, I'm talking about the ASAP thing, like taking, yeah, yeah. taking me take shopping and shit. Like, like nah, it's on her. She gotta hold your hand in the front yeah. too. Like, <laughs> <laughs> she gotta pull you along. She, she's sitting outside on the bench while you like, buying shit. Like while you, shirt, while she you looking at shit. Shoulders, like, oh yeah, this is you, baby. This is all you. Uh-huh. I don't mind that, like, because <laughs> at the end of the day, it's it's gonna be me, yeah. her buying shit for me to wear in front of her and shit. But yeah, or whatever. I'm just saying, <laughs> when you go out with your boys, I'm just saying. But like, I think women should be. But I think women should do more for their man. Period. That's how I feel. Yeah, correct. You know what I'm saying. So as far as that, like, if you feel like you have a good dude, you have a um, 
Like you love your man, all the good shit. Do something for him. Like yeah. yo, I saw the sweat. Don't let it be a one sided situation yeah, where he's the only nigga that's doing shit. Only for expect. Only expecting shit is gonna lead to a fucking train wreck. Like you gotta give and take. You know what I'm saying? Like you're gonna receive shit if you have a good dude. If you have a good dude, you're going to receive. So you need to make sure that you're doing, you know, doing your part also. So buy a nigga some shit, bro. Get a nigga some shoes and you know what I'm saying? Yo, go to the movies or something on me. If your nigga don't like shoes, though, buy him some... Boots, in Tommy's case. Tommy on all the boots. I wear boots in the summertime, so this yeah, nigga wear correct. boots. He got boots on right now. Yes, I do. He got polo boots. Got the midst of a $60. Play those guys. We, so, I'm a, I'm a, right. we, we're going to stay here because we haven't talked about, like, relationship advice in a while. And one of my compadres uh, asked... The, the long Lifelong question of How come Everybody that I don't want Wants me But the one mm. person That I want Doesn't want me. It, was a, it was a woman um, It was a girl That asked you this Yeah it was a girl That asked me this And look it's If you're asking advice From me Okay that's why I'm gonna I'm ask you If you're asking advice From me I'm gonna give you The real like If somebody don't want you But you want Or everybody else wants you It's like That situation Where you want somebody is It's not meant to be No matter how hard You try to make it seem like how, no matter how hard you like this one person, if it if they just not feeling you, then it's nothing in their mindset that's gonna change for them to eventually like you later on down yeah. the line. And if they do like you later on down the line, that's just gonna be them settling. Set, exactly. For you. Like so, you know, if you like somebody, like within the first couple meetings. But my thing is, I don't, cause I don't like to relate. Everybody can't handle the truth like that. That one line, like you can't handle the truth. It's this is a, a friend. It's a real thing. It's it's a coworker. Okay. It's a real thing. Like so, for me, I didn't. I told her that still, but obviously they don't want to hear that at the time. So for me, what I'm gonna ask you is, what do you tell them to try to make them feel better about the situation? Because like I said, you asking me, I'm gonna get you the real. It's like yeah, that's you, my thing. You may not like it, but. It's, I don't like to. Sh- I don't like to sugarcoat shit. I don't want to like make it seem like there's hope if there's yeah, obviously not. But that's, hope. What, that's what people want to hear. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm not gonna give that to you because <laughs> it's like, yo, I understand you like old oh boy, but if he's not feeling you, he's not feeling you. What you gonna do? You gonna rape him? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you, I would I would advise against that. Yeah, I'm just saying like so. If you just if you into a dude that's not into you, then sometimes you gotta let it go. Like, but it's I think not worth it. I think in that situation. And it goes for I think girls, in that guys, situation. everybody. If, if you if you into somebody, and well, also, are you showing that you're interested? Because a lot of dudes that you know, dudes that are quality dudes, we're not taking them subtle hints. You're not gonna look at me for three seconds and think I'm a no. No, that's not how the fuck you. That's not how you shoot your shot, bitch. You don't look at me for three seconds. Oh, I shot my shot. No, you didn't. <laughs> you, didn't say, you didn't do anything. So like, if if, if you gotta be boy, verbal. Yeah, you gotta say something. Like, let me know. You don't gotta like. Yo, I like you. You don't gotta do all that. But maybe initiate a conversation every now and then. You know what I'm saying? And try to keep it. But it's try tricky. to hold a conversation. It's tr- yeah. That's, you know what I'm saying? Like, because it's tricky. If you, if you just start a conversation, then niggas just take that as a. You know, she talking to me. You know what I'm saying? Shit, did she she really she must really want me. Shit. Like most of the time, where I'm like, where I was, uh, I guess on the fence about if somebody was cool or not. Like you know, if, if I like this person because yeah, they're attractive, but that don't really move me. But when we have conversations, them shit is fun and funny and deep and all that other shit. They personality did that. Like me liking your appearance only will do do but so much. I really don't care about that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? And whatever. Like a lot of people may feel differently about that. They want to go extra mile when somebody's super attractive. But just me personally, I don't really give two fucks. Like if, if I like you, if I like, if I like the way you look, but if we talk and there's nothing there, eh, you know, don't matter eh. how pretty you is. Yeah. Fuck all that. You're pretty ass, dumb ass, stupid ass bitch. Yeah, exactly, bro. And them, and them pretty girls be the dumbest ones. <laughs> so yes, at the, the end of the ones. day, look, you can't make somebody want to be with you. So but I think you, in this situation, I think they were like, the person that asked me this were or is or was in a relationship with the person that they I guess want back now. Wait, but, they're already in a relationship with the guy? No, they were in a relationship with the person. I don't know if it was a guy or a girl. Oh, so they she dated the guy. Yeah. Or girl. I don't remember. Um Oh, she swing? She swing. Yeah. So okay. it's like at that point, like if you're trying it, it's the same situation. But if though. it was, if it was a relationship, she kinda got what she wanted, it just didn't work out. Yeah. And so, that, that might even be worse because the person that you're pr- probably or the person that you're dealing with already knows who you are as a person. So if they don't want you, then that means they really don't fuck with you 
at that point in time because they know women what it's like though. to be with you. So yeah, women crazy. She probably did some crazy. She Spanish. Yeah. Yeah, she crazy. So at the end of the day, if if somebody doesn't want to be with you and you got a bunch of people like on your on your list of whatever and shit, like don't try to force a relationship with somebody that doesn't want to be in a relationship with you. That's on the contrary with some Honestly, of my situations and shit. But still, like. Just, Based off of That's last year, is. based off of last year, like successful relationship thing, a lot of women <laughs> was posting this, like was uh saying that you know I gave that ugly dude a shot and I've been happy ever since. Hey, all them. So a lot of women out here curving them dudes. Exactly. Because you don't like, you like, because he's not as pretty as you want him to be. You don't gotta fuck them all. Just give him a shot. Go on talk a date. to him. Yo, this nigga kind of funny. Yeah. This nigga kind of nice. Have him he take you out for good. a little bit. You ain't even gotta pay for shit. You know, it's facts. All you, you gotta do is dedicate your time. You only gotta take him shopping if y'all get in a relationship. Maybe. Or if he thinks it's bad, and even then, he, like, he, 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 but you gotta watch out. It's no some guarantee those, you gonna run into a bad bitch like ASAP Rocky out there. Because <laughs> some of them ugly dudes be getting big headed and they pull a fine girl. Oh yeah, yeah. They, they, they start feeling themselves. You gotta be, you gotta like, be picky. You gotta and like, shit yo, still. nigga, no, no. Nigga, but you I also, accept. you got like, so the way that I do, like, I, like, I'm like the complete opposite. I'll find an attractive girl, but I'll find, I'll try to find the one thing that they, they might be insecure about and shit just to and just pick at them about it. Yeah, just to see if That's they fucked up, Tommy. Hey, fuck that. You're not, you're not finna be a big bitch on me. <laughs> oh, big feet ass bitch! But oh, not nah, big bird feet ass like, bitch. Like for for oh, this oh, for this particular ass. person, <laughs> like for this particular person, if you find something or you if you find a lot of things unattractive or, un, yeah, I guess unattractive about a person, like try to find something that is that you find attractive about them. It's just like it's. I mean, at the end of the day, you're still gonna be settling. And shit, I think so. it's. Um, I think it's just time though. Cause a lot of these people are young people, so you have to get out of your own way of being shallow. A lot of people are they spend a, a lot of time being shallow. They want that super pretty ass dude, but what you we gotta realize is some of these pretty dudes be, you know, what I'm saying doing more pretty, they more than, high maintenance, yeah, high maintenance be more high maintenance than, than you so. are. They be over there using your products and shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Y'all both be running out of. You, uh, you waiting for that nigga to go to the movies and shit? Word. Like, y'all both nigga, using, are you ready yet? Come on, man. Like yo, all my dove is gone. Why is all my dove missing? <laughs> nigga using all your disposable why razors is, and why shit. Why shower gels mixed and shit? Oh, yeah, shave his chest hair. His chest hair getting clogged in his. <laughs> why he leaving his clippers on the sink and shit? Word, like so. Listen, ladies, a lot of a lot of those times when y'all want those super pretty ass dudes, just know it's like dating a girl. It's, you're you're pretty much a lesbian at that point. So get you a pretty dude. You're a lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair enough. That's how we're gonna wrap up with that one. Uh, let's see. So, moving on to sports for this week, we had a few stories out of the week, but I'm gonna focus on the main ones. So, the two main ones: one, Boogie Cousins came back, made his debut for the Golden State Warriors on Friday against the Clippers in Los Angeles. For some reason, I don't know why they didn't save it for him in actual Golden State, so they have a bigger ovation when he does shit. But he made his debut in Los Angeles against the Clippers. Warriors won. I think he posted like 16 and 6, if I'm not mistaken, like rebounds or something close to that. Um, and they had a lot of Warriors fans there. But the biggest story of the week was not actually, it would have been Boogie on any other week. But this week, the biggest story of the week was Kyrie, Kyrie Irving, uh, coming out by himself and just spilling out to the to the media that he hit up. That he called LeBron for advice on how to be a leader. And a lot of athletes took this either one or two ways. It was him admitting that he was wrong and apologizing to to LeBron. Or and it was him throwing shots at his teammates and saying essentially, yeah, LeBron, I understand what you went through with me because I'm going through that right now with these young niggas at this point in time. So my question to you is... It's not going to be sports related. My question to you is, you have a son right now. What in him have you seen of yourself that makes you want to go back and apologize to people that <laughs> that you've seen based yeah. on your son's actions and yeah, shit? All that and that shit took a left <laughs> turn. I think uh, everything. I, <laughs> I understand now. Like, all the time when people was telling me, like, yo, you was bad as a fucking kid. You didn't see it at that point in time because... I didn't care. Like, what I'm going to do? I'm, I can't go back and, like... You know what I'm saying? Twenty some years and right. be good. No, fuck out of here. I'm no <laughs> fuck. You know what I'm saying? I'll just I'll just like dismiss it. Like, you was bad. Eh, whatever, cool. Everybody's bad. Like you a kid. Everybody's but now bad. Whew, nobody's supposed to listen. Fam, I square with my son like almost every other day. Like yo, fam, you, you nigga, like what you what you, you finna listen to nigga, me? Did dog. I say you put your put your toys up, nigga? The fuck you like, what you doing, nigga? Like like dead ass mad. Like yo, nigga, pick your toys up, son. 
I done told you four times. And you over here <laughs> p- taking more toys out the goddamn box. Nigga. Like, so, I get it. I'm, I, yo, yo. If any of my family's watching, <laughs> I apologize. I, I'm pretty sure I was bad too, but um, I was I was different because my son is spoiled. I wasn't spoiled. So be, when you're like when you're crazy, like bad and spoiled, oh, that's a whole it's another a ball mixture. game. So I'm seeing that with my nephew right now, like, and I, I take some blame for it because he most of his shit is just like him being on on his Xbox playing with his friends and shit, and I take. Some of the blame because he he witnessed game. that yeah yeah he witnessed Your that fault. from me, but he takes that shit to a new level like he's one he's he what ten shit. he's ten right now you know, the white he's just in all, yeah he's just in his room just like yelling you're trash bro you don't know bro you're tr-. like first of all at I, ten I, I, yeah at Damn. ten you're trash bro you don't know what you're doing change your settings change your gun what are you doing like it's like eh, angry dude nigger. <laughs> 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 yeah, just angry and yelling at at a screen. It's just like, Ugh. and then I get mad because then his grandma or his what mama, his grandmother will come in and be like, tone that shit down because you you hell loud right now and it's it's not yeah. it's not that deep yeah, and like I'm not giving muscle no ever. I'm not yeah, if my advice is like it. yeah, no headset, no. <laughs> don't talk to these niggas. You don't need to talk to them. Y'all good? <laughs> yeah, have yeah. My advice to you, at least right now, I don't have any kids right now, but just based on being around my nephew and his gaming shit, like if you if you can like try to avoid the gaming shit altogether, because eventually it's gonna lead to him wanting to talk to his friend shit. This is the way I this is the way I look at it, right? When you have kids, just think of it as this way: when you're raising them, when you're young, all the worst things about yourself is them. So everything that like people talk shit like you this, you loud, you did like that's that's your child. And like, <laughs> that's why I'm scared to have amplified kids. Amplified form, like all the worst qualities about yourself is your child reincarnated. So, um, just think of it that way. So if you can, and it, but I will say it does teach you patience. You will learn patience on a whole nother level, like and be able to apply that shit to everything. You that's know what I'm saying? Like, I wanna, I wanna have kids, obviously, but I'm scared because if they have my my main traits, like me being silent and shit. I'm not going to know when the fuck or what the fuck is going on with their lives and shit. But then I'm going to hear about them in school and shit. Like, he was acting now. He was being a class clown, yelling and talking about. I'm, I'm going to be like, my my baby? He don't even talk. And then <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, I heard him talk since last that's Wednesday. That's exactly what it is because that's how I was with my parents and shit. Like, they were going to school and was be like. Was dad, like, tough, rough on you or something? Like, no, nah, my mom was. Uh, so, it was a balance. When okay. you when you parent, I'm pretty sure you got this balance. Not like. <laughs> At least in my household, it was a balance. Like, my dad was the easygoing one. So, if I wanted something, I would go to him and ah. ask him for it. If I didn't, like, like the disciplinary of the of the group of the two was my mom. Damn, that's, that's kind of backwards for most people. Like, usually the mom is, like, usually, like the mother's boy. Like, you know what I'm saying? You go to mom, mom give you everything. Dad, like, no, nigga, nah, stop. <laughs> put, put it down. What did your mom say? Yeah, right, it was, fine, it was fine. the other fine. way around yeah. for me. Uh. So, I, I got to make sure. So, I don't know if that's, I mean, obviously, it's a normal thing, but... I gotta find someone, but obviously I'm not gonna know that until we have kids. I gotta find someone that's that's gonna be the opposite of me because I feel like I'm gonna be the same, see how they are same with way their my, my pops was. See how, huh? they are, see how they are with their parents. Like a lot of things that I learn um, is pretty much uh, like, for instance, my baby mother. The way that I guess her grandmother is with her, mm-hmm. a lot of those traits ended up coming out like with our son. You know what I'm saying? So. I'm like, okay, I, I kind of saw that coming. You know, like, I, y'all have a lot of, y'all have a lot of similar traits anyway. Yeah. So. I mean, it, I mean, it, it only bad. makes sense. It's not necessarily bad stuff. Yeah. It's, it's good and bad. It's, it's pros and cons, every single thing. Um, but see how they are with their parents, for one. But then you just got to know them. Like, people do change after they have kids, for sure. Like, people make a fucking 180 when they have kids. Like, they be the sweetest person in the world. Demon. After, after they get demon. Just straight demon. <laughs> so, like... You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, there is no, like, right or wrong. Just, you know, have kids with the person that you love. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Don't be out here trying to knock a, a pretty chick off because you want pretty babies. That little pretty baby going to be spoiled and they're going to ruin your life. And then you're going to have two, especially spoiled if you people, girl, you're going to have two spoiled your ass bitches that's in your life. Ruining <laughs> your, your life, fam. And one of them it's you can't get rid of. It. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, like, deal with it. I think I've read this quote before. Like, get with a girl that's, um, a, that's not a bill. What was it? Fuck, I can't remember. Mm-hmm. That shit about to be deep too. I don't I listen to that deep shit. <laughs> it just be a bunch of light skin niggas that pull some shit, huh? Nah. Was he light skin? Uh, nah. It was it was a it was uh, old old head. Them old heads be kicking knowledge, bro. 
Is the old uh, light skin nigga with a be- with a beard and shit? What is it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You be seeing them things on Twitter, bro. I don't be paying attention. I don't pay attention to those uh, to the quotes on. Twitter. I don't pay attention to positive shit. I pay uh, attention to porn on Twitter. Oh, be be with a girl who's an investment, not a bill. There we go. Fair enough. So like, you know, what I'm saying it's self explanatory. Like, you know, you you're putting your money into somebody, there's gonna be a return back. Investment. And it's not just investment as far as money. Like, it's right. investment as time and everything. Everything and that you're putting yet. in, you're getting something out of it. But when you're doing with shit as a bill, you're putting shit in and that shit's gone. Yeah. You give it's her money. You, it's just you throwing out money and shit. It's just you throwing out. You, know you might as well be throwing that into the ocean. You, you dedicating time for what? Yeah. Not necessary. So been there, done that. Mm-mm. If facts. So nah. Yeah. See, that all comes together with the with, the, with the question that my coworker it, asked me. Yeah, it does, it does in a way. Um, but it just it just comes from growing up though, because my choices my my choice making was horrible back when I was younger. You know what I'm saying? I did a lot of stupid ass girls. I mean, that's how you that's how you grow. Exactly. That's, that's how, how you me. know what you don't want. Exactly. <laughs> you learn better cuz like I mean, I was in I was in a period of time where I just wanted a girlfriend and I met this chick online. We talked for 7 days and we're in a relationship after that. Nope. Stupid ass decision. Nope. I was like, "Oh, let me jump the gun." Oh, nope. she's fine. She's cool. Everybody's cool at first, guys. News flash. Everybody's fucking cool. The first 7 days, you don't know who they are yet. Two weeks, first month, you still don't know who they are. It nope. takes a long ass time for somebody to show or to reveal who they really are. Because they be on some whole other bullshit. The minute something goes wrong, that, them colors change. Like, you see them real colors. Like, oh. Then your eyebrows are right. Who this bitch? Sorry. Who's this? What, what, what? Excuse bitch? Me? We don't ever curse. <laughs> <laughs> Why is she a bitch? <laughs> who this bitch Text your motherfucking phone? I will cut you and her. It was my mother. It's just my mom. I don't give a fuck. She shouldn't be texting you at 9 o'clock on Sunday. Wait a minute. Excuse me? She said goodnight. She was sick. <laughs> she called. Like, like, like <laughs> yo, you see people's real colors come out. Like, that shit is crazy. So, I mean, I'm just saying. All right. Last but not least. Um, Because it's still on relationship thing. Aisha Curry. I talked about this before. Aisha Curry shared a secret with the world. And she said, I guess for her and Steph Curry to have a successful. I'm sorry. Her and Wardell. Curry. Wardell? Yeah, that's his name. His, his name was Wardell? His name is Wardell Curry. Uh, yeah, you can look it up right now. His, but That's his real first name. Mm-hmm. Uh, Aisha and Wardell Curry, or Aisha said that uh, the, what the, the, fuck? the key, name. The key to their marriage or the key to their happiness is that they put each other first. I told you that. Why is his name Wardell? I don't know. I, don't, I do not know. But the second? Aisha. Oh, Dell Curry. Oh! <laughs> Aisha said God that damn it. the key to their success is uh, he hate his name that they're able to put each other I don't know where Steph came from to be honest hey, with you 6'3 the the he is the key is to their Steph success is uh, that they put each other or that they're to marriage they put each other first even before their kids and I never thought of it like that like I always thought the the, the pantheon and when it comes to like rankings would come would be, be kids I guess wife for me and then parents after that and everybody else under that um, but it makes a lot of sense. Like yeah, I, you can't have happy kids if you don't have a happy wife right. and that, raise your kids in a happy home. So yeah, that was. Pretty I've cool. always felt like that. I've always been an advocate for you know that type of shit because at the end of the day, your kids leave in eighteen years, and then if you've spent all your time investing in your relationship with your kid, with your kids, it's a lot of time when they're going, going the then what? You got to really you got to start all over. You got to relearn. Yeah, you got to relearn. Yeah. So uh, I think wifey. that. When, you, when you're in a relationship for a long period of time and you have kids together and you're planning on being together forever, you need to work in that relationship first. That relationship with your spouse is more important than anything because if shit goes wrong, like, then then what? Now, y'all, now, now you're in two, two separate households because y'all wasn't giving each other the, the right amount of attention. Oh, you know, just, just stupid shit. Like, she can, like, I, I know a lot of, um one of my last jobs, I was working with a lot of women and older women and they would always say that you know they, a lot of them were divorced and they would always say that like one of the reasons why I got divorced was because I kept I wish I wouldn't like uh, put my uh, my kid like before my my uh, husband like I kind of like ignored him and shit like that his wants his needs she kind of ignored it and a lot of women get caught up in that especially when they're new parents because they want to be the best mother they can be right but it's the only thing on their mind like yo you're also a wife you're still in a relationship exactly like yo you have, to, you have to realize that you know what I'm saying if we're making each other happy our kid is seeing that he knows how to treat somebody because he's watching us do that if you're not if you're not paying me no mind he's gonna get a girl that's not gonna pay him no mind because that's all he sees all he knows so people don't really realize that especially new parents but I would definitely advocate for that type of shit like yo your husband come first regardless 
regardless. And that's going to do it for today's episode of yeah. Doc, Dr. Boy Too Nice. Uh, if you guys yeah, you like what you've, heard, what you've heard, please subscribe to the YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash Boy Too Nice TV. Steve Harvey has. Uh, did I, did He's saw his show getting canceled. Oh, shit. To, uh, what's that white girl, Kelly Clarkson? Ill, yeah, ill. Fuck her. She, she won American Idol once. She's getting a TV show, and apparently they can, they're going to cancel Steve Harvey's show. What so. I was going to say is that Steve Harvey is. I don't know if we talked about this last week, but Steve Harvey is a hardworking nigga. I think we talked about it last week because we you said Kevin Hart was. Yeah, but damn, Steve Harvey has segments similar where he talks about relationship and shit. And I'm pretty sure he has to do shit, but we're better uh, because. Facts. Also, <laughs> listen, guys, if He's you if you have anything y'all want to talk about, y'all can drop it in our comments. Y'all can DM yeah. me, uh, the boy too nice. DM him at Team Tommy. Let us know, man. You know what I'm saying? And we, we, we'll talk about whatever. Because, listen, um, even we're, we, not, we're not just here even to provide information. Even though we are, culture. you know, uh, 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 very playful beings, we are very, you know what I'm saying, educated, well-versed in the whole relationship. We theory. do like women. And we give good advice. Yes. You know what I mean? If so. you've ever had any questions on the male species, on the male side of things, you got two opinions right here. I mean, granted, best opinions you could possibly get. Granted, we agree, we tend to agree with each other, so it's like one person. But we still. have <laughs> professional, unlicensed opinions. Yes, that's the best way to put it. Yeah, I mean, you know what I'm saying? if you want, you want professional. You want a light skinned nigga and then a a slightly not light skinned nigga. It's like giving you opinions. Dark, dark skin on shit. No, nah, you're not dark skinned dog. Dark skin, bro. Nah, you're not. Listen, bro. It's mm-hmm. only because it's winter. You got a beard. <laughs> okay. If you want the opinions of a nigga that's that's got a beard and a nigga that got semi dress and you know you know where to come, right here. No refunds podcast, Spotify, iTunes, Google Play. Tune in. No refunds with a dollar sign. Podcast. Till next time, we're out. And make sure you guys. Nah, fuck that. Energy. We doing this. We doing this with high energy. This is yeah. Sure. This is the end of the episode. Bro, make sure like you a, guys the, the check us out. Episode and shit. You know what I'm saying? Nah, we got past Dr. that. Oz we we good shit. now. Make sure you guys check us out. Like again, like again, like I said. Apple Podcast, SoundCloud, Spotify, yeah. Google Play. Yeah. Subscribe to the yeah. YouTube channel. Wait, wait. Tell them. Tell them about the giveaway. Every 100 subscribers we get. Yeah. You get a what to get? Avatar. Uh huh. Done by who? Yours truly. All right. Which means you got to put me to work. If you want to put me to work. Fuck it. Subscribe. subscribe to the channel. Tell your friends to subscribe. I don't mind. I don't mind working. Check out my YouTube page where you see all my other shit. All his you know artwork, I mean? son. All right. If you want to see some artwork, but at Team Tommy. Only way to do that. Only Tommy way to be entered in the contest. You got to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Not and only, comment. And I was comment. Say, not only do you got to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh huh. YouTube.com forward slash Boy Too Nice TV. Yeah. You got to comment on one of the, yeah. at least one of the videos. Yeah. I don't care. Like, you got to see it. You don't watch the video. We need just, that notification. Just comment on the video. Yeah. Because a lot of y'all is like sketchy. I don't a lot want of, a lot to know y'all, what y'all doing on YouTube, so y'all shit is went, private. Let me just explain. And if y'all shit know. is private, exactly. How I'm supposed to know that you? So if y'all subscribe, subscribe to people and y'all and y'all shit is private, I can't find you. But if you comment, I can. And if we can't find you, we you can't, can't draw be you. In the contest. You know what I'm saying? So, so we appreciate the first people that subscribe to the channel, but unfortunately, a lot of y'all wasn't interested in the contest because we didn't know who y'all was. And there's nothing wrong with that, but. Leave a comment If y'all want to be in it We understand that Not everybody might might not want that But listen It's free (laughs) You have to do nothing But comment FR33 What's up Hi You know what I'm saying Done That's gonna do it You got a a movie to go catch Yep Like I said You're gonna be spazzed out By the end Because there's a lot of bullshit Going on But that's gonna do it for us Like I said Beginning I am Team Tommy That is Boy Tonight We are the No Refunds Podcast (laughs) See you guys next time